Hey guys, welcome back. <clears throat> Mark here of Raining Warriors. And I have a, uh, a powerful message for you guys today. <clears throat> As I was sitting and um, just during my quiet time with the Lord, um, many things were coming to my mind. <clears throat> Especially during this, you know, during the time that we're in right now. I know, guys, that during this time, um, there's a lot of shaking going on. Um, you know, times are tough for a lot of people who are going through a very, very difficult time. It could be a job loss. Some people may have been furloughed. Some people may not have much in savings. Or they're seeing, um, you know, even now in this lockdown, that there's um, just a lot of turmoil. Um, and it may not be a, a situation that you're, you're currently in that sh that's, um, I'll call it um, the best situation. Um, you know, I, I say right now there's like a... Um, we're being, um, we're going through a time or a phase of testing, even a squeezing, and the Lord is allowing it. Let's not make any mistake about it. God is sovereign. He's over all things. There's nothing that happens down here that catches God by surprise. So this lockdown that has taken place not only across in this nation, but across all nations, does not surprise God at all. Now, the question is, what are we doing during this lockdown? What are we doing? Are we allowing ourselves to allow ourselves to be, um, that our joy be taken away? Are we really, are we seeing ourselves complaining and um, you know uh, I'll call it embittered by what we see that's happened? Are we mad? Are we angry because of the situation that we're in? Now I'm not saying, folks, that you know. This situation is anything that's fun. Absolutely. Emotions come up. We all, you know, we, uh, we, uh, um, I don't think anybody would have expected what we see here that would have, um, and has gone on as long as we've gone on, that would have been something that we're feeling that we're comfortable with. So, uh, you know, emotions generally kick in. And that's normal. That's normal. That's for all of us. Everybody, we have, an, we have an emotional reaction to a situation. But the question is, after the initial emotional reaction that we have, how are we handling this? Are we letting the situation depress us? Are we letting the situation um, make uh, a sense of... Um, Failure or, or defeat? Are we saying to ourselves that, hey, you know what? I don't know if we're going to make it through this. Is anyone right now on the edge of throwing in the towel? I say, and I encourage you guys, the Lord is walking with us through the storm. This is a storm that we're all going through, but we have to endure it to the end. Remember in scripture it says, do all to stand, all you can to stand and stand till the end. If you can't do anything at all, just stand. 
the Lord just says, stand. And I will encourage you guys this. <clears throat> that instead of allowing, um, because the enemy is at work. The enemy is talking all the time. Look at you. Look at the situation you're in. Look at your finances. Look, you can't go out. You can't do this. You can't go to the gym. You can't associate with your friends. You can't meet up with your friends and family. You're just cooped up in your house. How pathetic. Look at that. What are you going to do? He's just talking, talking, talking in your ear. Making you feel as, as bad as you possibly can feel. And I'm going to tell you something. The enemy knows that if he can steal your joy, he steals your strength. If he knows that he can steal your joy, that's why you have to guard your joy like nothing, like none other. You can't allow this enemy, based on the situation that we see ourselves, to steal our joy. Because the Bible says that the joy of the Lord is our strength. And we count it all joy when we encounter tests or trials. This is a test. It is a trial that we're all facing right now, that we're all going through. And we who are in the body of Christ must be able to stand and the Lord says to endure till the end. It's uncomfortable. It's not easy. But I can tell you that if your focus is on the Lord and you're strengthening yourself with the Word of God, your joy won't be taken. My message to you today, or the question that I have for you today, maybe that, that's even better. Are you thankful? during these tough times? Are you thankful during these tough times that we are enduring? Or are you allowing your emotions to get the best of you where you have a lot of anger, bitterness, strife um, to get a hold of you? Becoming argumentative, hostile, Are you even finding it hard to praise God? To give thanks to the Lord? I'm going to tell you folks, the, 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 the most powerful, even I'll call it even a weapon, even against the enemy, is when we can give thanks to the Lord in, tif in difficult times. When we can raise our hands and praise the Lord during times of difficulty. When we can say to the Lord, Father, I know. We're going through a tough challenge right now. I know that things are tough. We're going through a hard time right now. But you know, Lord, we know that you are on your throne. We know, Lord, that all things are in your hands. There's nothing that can escape you. And Lord, we know that this isn't a surprise to you and you have a plan and a purpose for our lives and you have a plan and a purpose to move us through even beyond this. We put our faith, we put our hope, we put our trust, we put it all in you. We're not going to get down. We're not going to start um, beating ourselves up. We're not going to start go engaging in all these, uh, uh, these things to bring us down emotionally. Let me, let me give you, a, I just want to read a couple scriptures on Thanksgiving. In Philippians 4, 6, it, it's written, Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. That means that if you have something that you're going through right now, bring your petition to the Lord with thanksgiving. Not with complaining, not with murmuring, not with, uh, you know, just dumping. Uh-uh. With thanksgiving is how the Lord says that you approach him. 
It's also written in Psalms 69, verse 30. It says, I will praise God's name in song and glorify him with thanksgiving. Psalm 95, 2, let us come before him with thanksgiving and extol him with music and song. Praising and lifting up the name of the Lord, giving thanks for the Lord for all the things that he has. The fact that we're able to wake up today, we should give thanks. The fact that we have food in our, our, our cabinets, clothes on our back, you're living indoors. The fact that you're healthy, your children are healthy, praise the Lord. The fact that you were able to actually get up this morning. Many people, yesterday was their last day, but you're still here. Praise the Lord. God has been good to you. God has been good to me. We must uplift him. Every good gift that comes, that we receive here, comes from heaven above. Every good gift. It's not because of our smarts. It's not because of all that. I know a lot of people like to take credit for a lot of things that they do. I did it. That's a blessing from the Lord. Psalm 104 says, Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and praise his name. We need to be lifting up our hands to our God. Thank you, Lord, for this day. Thank you, Lord, for what you've done. Thank you, Lord, for our answered prayer. Thank you, Lord, for bringing healing and restoration to the broken areas of my life. Thank you, Lord, um, for protecting my family, for bringing peace. Thank you, Lord, that each and every day, Lord, we know that you're watching over us and you're taking care of us. Thank you, Lord, that we experience your goodness every day, even during the tough times. We give you praise, we give you honor, we give you glory. It says that when we enter into the throne room of God, meaning that we bring our petitions to the Lord, that we should be bringing our partitions, we should be entering his, his, uh, his courts in, with praise and thanksgiving. Not complaining, not murmuring. Not sitting here talking about all kinds of negative stuff and stuff like that and just whining and complaining to the Lord. God knows the situation that we're in. He's not blind to it. He's not seeing it. In fact, he's working. I'll leave you guys with this, and I want to end this video. I don't want to run it long. But remember when the, when the children of Israel were coming out of Egypt, when, when God was bringing them out of Egypt, he did great things, powerful moves of God. They were able to carry out all the treasures of, of Egypt with them. They opened the Red Sea. They walked across the Red Sea. God made tremendous miracles, took care of them. And even when the Egyptians were coming after them, they were, um, you know, according to the Old Testament, they were covered over with the sea. But what happened? What happened to the nation of Israel after, after that? But after they crossed over, as I said, the Lord was still taking care of them. They got manna from heaven. Manna was coming down from heaven and they were, uh, was it quail? Meat they were getting every day. Their shoes didn't run out, their clothes didn't wear out or anything. God was taking care of everything that they did. Um, and it even says that the, the, the water that they needed came from the rock. He provided for all that their needs, but what happened? They were murmuring and complaining. You want to know a quick way, folks, for God not to hear you or to shut up heaven from hearing your petitions, your cries, is not being thankful. That is one quick way to, sh to make the heavens brass. And when I say brass, I'm talking about for not being able to, to, to murmur and to complain. Moses was so... Um, frustrated with the people. And I remember God almost almost wiped them out. It was Moses that stepped in and said, no, these are your people. So let's, what I encourage my message to you guys today, and that for all of us, even though we're going through a tough time right now, folks, this too shall pass. And I don't know what it's going to look like when I say shall pass. But 
right now, while you are in this situation, praise the Lord. Lift him up. Find out things, good things that you can see that he has done in your life. Look at your past and what he's brought you through. And give praise and thanks out of it for all those things. I know in each of our lives, the Lord has done tremendous things to move us forward. So let's focus on those things. Even in this tough time. God will hear us. When we come in with praise and thanksgiving, it says that the Lord abides in the praise of his people. He abides there. That's awesome. So I encourage you guys, let's go ahead and praise and worship the Lord. Let's give him thanks for all that he has done. Let's lift up his name and watch your situation turn around. Let's put the complaining aside, guys. Let's put it aside. And let's allow the Lord to be lifted up. He will change the situation. Right now is a time of testing and trial, but stand with joy. Until the next video, upload, share, and we'll see you then.